Let's get you some more analysis on the situation in the Central African Republic. I'm now joined live in studio by Thibault Le Sœur. He's an analyst with the International Crisis Group, and he has just returned from the Central African Republic a few hours ago. Thank you very much for your time. Um, Thank you. French troops, of course, deployed in the Central African Republic. Now, to a fairly large extent, there's a sense of relative calm, but they have been accused of taking sides in the conflict. How is that affecting operations over there? Well, I it's true, actually. Uh, it was a very complicated start for the, the French operation. First, because they lost two soldiers, mm -hmm. and then they didn't expect to lose soldiers. And second, because during the disarmament operation that they launched, a lot of Seleka people were disarmed. Mm -hmm. And so you have kind of a growing feeling among the Seleka, and to a certain extent among the Muslim population, that France has changed the balance of power in favor of the Christian combatants. Mm -hmm. So what is very important to do now is that France and the African peacekeeper on the ground show that they're able to disarm both the Seleka and the Christian militia. In essence, the anti-Balaka rebels, exactly. as, 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 as they've been described. But why, explain this to us, why has it been so difficult for Michel Jotodio to keep control of the Seleka rebels after he disbanded them? Well, uh, Michel Jotodio is at the head of a phantom state. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, as you said, he was the head of the Seleka, so his main task was basically to restore security, to control his fat this fighter, sorry. But he was not able to do it because uh, Seleka is a loose coalition of different independent factions. So without security, you cannot implement any other reforms. So what we face now is a situation where the transition authorities are completely powerless and rely completely on the international support, financial and military support. Mm -hmm. uh, African leaders, of course, are being criticized to a certain extent for being relatively slow in responding to the crisis that is developing in the CAR. Uh, with respect, however, to the, 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 the French, the response of uh, the speed, rather, of the French response, wouldn't there be a strong case to be made here that African governments really have just taken a back seat? Well, yes, some neighbors like Cameroon, for instance, have been very long in responding and in, in getting involved in the car crisis. Now they're realizing that the car crisis could spill over the border and affect also their own security. So now they're getting involved in the uh, African Union peacekeeping mission. And second, I think we should emphasize the role of uh, Congo Brazzaville. Congo Brazzaville has been designated as a lean nation to monitor the political transition. But he hasn't done this job, he hasn't played this role. And he has adopted kind of a wait and see attitude with the consequence that we face now. Mm -hmm. We have seen, of course, uh, a few meetings taking place in Paris as well over the last couple of weeks. Uh, the French president, Francois Hollande, coming out and telling the rest of the EU, look, we've got to set up a fund specifically to deal with these sort of things in Africa. What effect do you think this will have on the crisis that we have in the CAR? Well, this, this fund is going to be from any operation. It's not going to be specific specifically for Central African Republic. We hear now that some European countries that are already providing logistics for the mission are willing to come military and send soldiers. For instance, mm. Belgium, I said this morning that they wanted to send soldiers to help to secure the airport. So let's see if other European countries are willing to help France because France is a bit frustrated at that point to be alone on the ground. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Thibault Lecceau, an analyst with the ICG. We'll have to leave it there for the time being, but we'll certainly keep tabs on developments in the Central African Republic.